Hi guys, welcome back. So in this tutorial, let me just show you how to install Jupyter Notebook. So Jupyter Notebook is basically where a place where you can write your Python program. It is similar to running your Python programs on say a IDE, uh, say this one, this is the PyCharm, where you can just write your program and get your result right in the IDE itself. But for this one right here, the Jupyter Notebooks, it is a place where you can just run the program and get the result right on your uh, browser itself. So that's the difference. Now let me just uh, quickly click on the install right here. Okay, so to install the Jupyter Notebook, there are different ways to install this. So you can either install it with the Conda or install it with pip. So in this tutorial, let me just uh, quickly show you how to install this with pip. And I can just quickly show you the step for the Conda as well if you want to follow. Okay, so right here, this is if you want to install the uh, Anaconda on the Windows and this is how it works. You can just navigate here and try to install the applications. So what the application does, uh, once you install, it will contain all of this Jupyter Labs notebooks right here. You can click on the uh, install right here to install the Jupyter notebooks. Uh, basically, this is using the um, Inter user interface uh, via a program you can just click with the button but for pip uh, you will just need to write some commands okay so anyway let me going to go and try to install with the pip before getting into or before we can just run the pip uh, command right here we will need to install the pip itself okay to install pip uh, you just need to search for say pip install now scroll down and right here this is the uh, one we're looking for python.org and installing packages now let's just quickly scroll down where we're looking for the uh, get uh, pip.python right here so just click on this one and this is uh, text so what we are going to do we're going to save this particular file okay so now let's just right click and select the save as Okay, so here I navigate to my drive D and this is the folder uh, I just created which is the Python and we're going to save this file into this uh, folder. The file is now downloaded. Okay, so now we are in this uh, folder. Uh, what you need to do now is to basically try to install pip. Uh, to do that, you can just click on this bar and type cmd. So what this does it will just uh, try to navigate to this uh, folder. It's just like a shortcut. Okay, so now uh, this is the location. And what you have to do, you have to uh, type python plus pip.py. And now it try to install the uh, pip. Okay, so here you can see that successfully installed pip. So next step here, uh, you can just run uh, pip install Jupyter Notebook. All right, everything seemed to work fine. So I just want to also make sure that uh, when I try to enter this command in this particular folder, it's not installing on this uh, folder. Uh, it just install everything in our uh, local machine. So now, uh, next step, I want to just run the Jupyter Notebook. So to run the Jupyter Notebook, quickly just uh, run the command Jupyter Notebook.
Okay, so here you can see that this is uh, the result that we get. And right here, we if we want to create a new uh, project, just uh, click on the new. There will be a drop down, select the Python 3. Let me close this too. Okay, so here it is. Uh, now, just to make sure that this is working, I'm going to print out hello world and I can just click on the run button and you can see that this is the result that we get which is exactly the same as the one that we run on PyCharm which is the result here okay so uh, let me also update the text let's say I run Py on Jupyter Notebook or am running okay so this is the result that we get and we can also write the other one down here as well just to quickly show you to do that say and right here we get the other result here as well so this is uh, how we run python 3 on the Jupyter Notebook and see you guys in the next video.